Hello everyone, welcome to podcast episode number 40. My name is The Star and I am The Star Crochet. I make and sell crochet and knit clothing and accessories for men, women, children, and babies. On this podcast episode, I talk about things like what I have been up to, any items sold, new items, finished objects, new listings, works and progresses, answers to any questions, and final thoughts. So I have received a few new items when it comes to my knitting machine and I am very happy about that. I I just straightened my bangs too so I'm trying to figure out which way I want that to look. But anyway, I will show you guys the new objects in the new items section. But the new items that I got, it's really cool. I got the adapter for the knitting machine and for the drill power drill and I got a new power drill as well and that is to make the knitting machine go much faster and I used it a little bit today you know I checked it out and I realized that it uh, you know I got the cheapest kind the cheapest I could find on Amazon of course it doesn't have much battery power so it's like oh yeah okay so it, it's okay though, uh, once I have the money, I will get a better drill. And with that being said, grab some tea, some coffee, some water, your crochet project, your knitting project, your spinning project, or whatever project you're working on, and let's get started. The new items I have. It is the drill that I was talking about, this thing right here. I love that it's in pink because that is my, that is one of my business colors. And the other business color I have is beige, so pink and beige. And this is the adapter to the knitting machine that connects to the drill. So the way that it connects, if you don't know how it works, is like this. Plug it into the, the drill. And it goes like that with the knitting machine and so it'll automatically turn like this with the adapter connected to the part where you spin round and around to make the knitting machine go and so yeah and that is the new items that I have I have one finished object and it is the woman's sweater size medium I completed everything when it comes to the up to size medium. I have this all stitched up, all the panels stitched together, and then I have the collar stitched as well on the very top. And you can see up close the pattern, the style, that's what it looks like sideways, and this is what it looks like upright. And this is the back. It can be reversible. This could be the front, this could be the back. And that is the finished object. If you follow along with my vlogs, you can see that I give in depth description of how I put together these women's sweaters and the stitches I use, the average length of the stitches I use, and you can follow the last vlog that I have in the description box below as one of the first links, and that is the finished object I have. I have technically three works of progresses, but I have not worked on one in a long time. That is the painting right here. And so I just don't really count it as a work in progress because I haven't worked on it in over a week. So it wouldn't really be included in this podcast unless I have painted once, but I have not. So I don't really want to consider it a work in progress in this week. But anyway, I have a knit work in progress and a crochet work in progress. Now, 
I'm going to start with a knitwork in progress because this project I have worked on so much ever since last week's podcast episode where I last left off on the podcast episode I was about halfway through the stars look at how much I was able to make within a week and this is nice you know I'm not an advanced knitter whereas crochet I would consider myself you know professional but when it comes to knitting I wouldn't really consider myself professional just yet until I have more experience and until I am able to like master uh, switching colors especially for making the uh, shapes and things like that and designs for knitting I wouldn't want to sell this just yet but this is not for being sold it's um, I'm just keeping it but anyway this is how far I have gone and I have made it above the stars. I have made the solid color of purple. Like I said, I was going to how I was going to stick with the purple all the way up to the top of the torso. And then once I figure out how to connect the sleeves with the torso to create the yoke section, like this area right here, all the way to the bottom of the underarms then I will need to connect everything together but I am not ready for that yet because I feel I'm just going off of like assumption right here because I've never done this before I've never knit a sweater before so I assume that I just need to knit going from down up that I first need to knit the sleeves have them ready and then I will be ready to connect the sleeves with the torso. And so I still have this on the 4.00 millimeter size 6 circular wooden knitting needles. And this is, I can't remember exactly what size this is, it's about a 24 inch circular. And that is the knitting work in progress I have. And the yarn that I'm using is Caron One Pound in purple. Well, it's deep violet, the color says on the label on the skin, but it's a four weight yarn that I'm using. Four weight for four millimeter. <laughs> and then the crochet work in progress that I have is that I have two of the torso panels completed so far of size large and then after size large that I'm working on right now after that I just have one more size to go which is size extra large and then I'll, I will be done with the collection and I'm saying to myself Whew, finally <laughs> because I have been working with the J hook the big blue hook that I've showed you all I have been working, I'll show you guys, it's right here too. This hook right here, this thing is gigantic for me to work with. I typically work with a 4.00 hook, millimeter hook, not a 5.75 millimeter hook. So this thing, and also I've said before in one of my vlogs, this is an inline crochet hook. It is a smooth, the way it goes up and down as a hook. And I typically work with tapered now, which is like a rougher way of designing the hook, like oh, up and down. That's like more tapered, and that's what I work with now. I am more comfortable with working with the tapered hook now, and this is an end line. And so it's a little bit tough for me to work with it right now. But anyway, the two torso panels I have. The I explained on the vlog, which is in the description box below, the most recent one that this consists of a little bit more of a measurement but that is okay because that is what makes it a size large and that is perfectly fine but that I'm keeping with a pattern still and how it is oh for the design that I created it is the 
one row of the smock stitch and then 11 rows of the smock stitch in pink and it's orange at first of the one row and then is the regular shaping side to side and then the decrease rows and then I have the exact same measurements when it comes to the second torso panel because in order to be able to make it either the front or the back, I need to copy the exact measurements so that way I can, you know, the customer can make it the front or the back. And so that is complete with that section of the works in progresses and then this last bit of this section is the sleeve panel, the first of the sleeve panels, one out of two. I am at the very bottom section. I am following again the design that I have created of the one first row of the orange smock stitch and then about, let's see, one, two, three, four, I'm about on the fifth row of 11 of the smock stitch in pink and then the single crochet shaping side to side and then I will be doing a decrease like that going up and that is my work in progresses. I actually have another work in progress, a bonus work in progress. So it is a donut scarf. I am not showing any bit of it but you can catch a glimpse of what the future donut scarves will look like in the up and coming knit with me videos that I am working on and I do not know when they will be ready for YouTube because I am currently recording them right now as of like today I started recording them again and so when you see the colorways of the donut scarves It'll be a surprise still of what colorway you get when you decide if you would like them as a customer, consumer. And that is all the works and progresses I have. I think when it comes to these podcast videos, I have learned to make these videos go by fast because when it comes to what I have to say, I say it and then I get it done and then after that I just it turns out after I'm done with the recording part like right now it's at the 14 minute level but then after I do the editing it's probably going to be at the 12 minute mark or so but if you have made it this far in the video please subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell so you are always notified of all the videos I make Please like this video so it helps the algorithm and it helps show more people of my business, the items I make in my YouTube channel and my videos. Check out my subscriptions of Ko-Fi or Patreon or both. They are $4 a person per website per month. Such as you can get perks such as member shoutouts on YouTube after every video. Yarn haul videos, behind the scenes videos, bonus content, exclusive content and more. Check out my Etsy shop. It has all of the items that I have as listings for sale. No other websites I have as an e-commerce on my listings. Check out, also check out my social media such as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, X, and more. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.